Yo, what is going on everyone? Today I am bringing you a brand new Football Manager 2016 experiment video. It's going to be a bit of a different one today as it's not going to be a player, it's not going to be a manager. You're probably thinking, what is it going to be then? It's going to be, what if Real Oviedo had a billion pounds? Now obviously Real Oviedo are the Spanish team in La Liga Aliante. They obviously weren't, I don't know if they did go bankrupt or they nearly went bankrupt and the club basically asked the supporters to all become shareholders in the club. They're well known, you know, a lot of people have shares in the club, very well supported and obviously their background, they don't have a lot of money. So I thought what if they did have a lot of money? So what I have done is, if we just go over to Football Manager right now, as you can see they have 1 billion bank balance, 50 million pound uh, transfer budget which obviously they can mess around with and a very high wage budget. They are currently still in Liga Adelante and obviously they've still got all the players they've got. I've not upgraded the facilities or anything like that because they can use their 1 billion pounds to do that. I'm sure 1 billion would be more than enough to do so. We're going to see what they can do in 3 years. Then obviously if it's in, you know, if it's developing well We'll give them maybe another three, and then another three, but it'll be in different videos. This video, we're just going to give them three years till June 2018 to see how they do. Let's jump one year into the future and see how their first season goes. Okay, so we are one year into the future is June 2016. And as you can see, their bank balance has only gone down by £49 million. No, £39 million. I'll get there in the end. Let's take a look at the transfers that they've done. So they only sold a few players. But then they bought in 42.24 million pounds worth of players. Let's just take a look at who they actually got. Yusuf Paulson. Uh, who else they got? Eric Bilali uh, from Villarreal. Uh, Emmanuel Mambamba, obviously the centre-back. He's a very decent player on this game. Uh, who else? Adam Mayer. Fabio. Uh, no one really to note in fairness. But obviously, decent signings for the league that they're in. They got Sandro on loan from Barcelona. Uh, let's just take a quick look at how they've done in the league. They did actually win the league. So they are going up into La Liga. They won the league by four clear points. They were well clear of the uh, automatic playoff place, you know, and the playoffs. So they were well clear into that. So as you can see, there's the players that performed particularly well for them. We're sorting it by average match rating. Some of the player values has actually quite interestingly gone up. As for goals, Sandro, this, the, you know, the lads from Barcelona on loan, only uh, 20 years of age. He hit 16, no, 17 goals and 39 appearances for them. His average match rating was actually quite low considering, but obviously he, you know, helped them quite a lot. Quite a few loan players up here, which is quite concerning, considering these are the best players of the season. Uh, if we take a look at their schedule and take a look at any other competitions they were in, which will just be the Spanish Cup, they went out to Real Zaragoza in the third round. So, you know, you're not going to be too pleased about that, but obviously the fact that they are going up to La Liga is obviously a huge thing for them. Let's jump one more year into the future and see how they do. Okay, so we are one more year into the future. As you can see, it is June 2017. First notable thing that catches my eye, their bank balance is down to 488 million and their current, it will be lost for this season, is 470 million pounds. They've obviously spent big. If we go to transfer histories, um, if we go to there, so did they actually bring anyone in at the end of this? They brought in a few players in January. Actually, no, that's all the same. They spent, oh wow. <laughs> they spent 194 million pounds going into La Liga, that's crazy, and they only sold two million pounds worth of players. So the first player they brought in, the biggest fee, 49 million from Athletic Bilbao was Inaki Williams, obviously the young, um, like, winger type of player. Um, Ruben Dorate, I don't actually know who he is, and he's sold for 35 and a half million pounds. Romelu Lukaku from Everton for 29 million. Alan Neon from Watford for nearly 20. Jermaine Lenz from Sunderland. There are so many notable players here. I'll just get a few of the most notable. Antonio Valencia from Manchester United. Fernando from Manchester City. And the rest are pretty irrelevant. Yusuf Malumbu's actually come in as well. Uh, so they've spent big. They have spent very big. But as you can see, you may have noticed up here, it did pay off. Their first season in La Liga ends with them getting top four. I want to point out Real Madrid getting 100 points, which is crazy. But Real Oviedo actually get top four 
and they do it comfortably. They get it by how many points is that? That's 14 points. They do it quite convincingly, to be fair. Very impressive stuff from Real Oviedo. If we take a look at their schedule, uh, if we go to, what will they be in? They won't be in that. Spanish Cup, they go out in the fifth round. 3-2 um, on aggregate to Villarreal. And they go through against Levante in the fourth round, but they do actually go out in the fifth round. So, disappointing stuff, but they have spent big. They have spent very big. Uh, if we just take a look at the best players from this season. So, it was a defensive mid, Tim Sparv, whoever he is. I couldn't tell you. He was actually there at the start of the save. Yusuf Malumbu, but he actually, yeah, he's done pretty well. Alan Neom. Um, who's underperformed? Antonio Valencia has not really done too much. Inaki Williams signed for a huge fee, but he's not actually played much. I don't know if that's through injury or something, but he's really low. Lukaku is probably lower than he would want to be with the 7.08. In terms of goals, Lukaku, though, does actually score the most goals for them. So obviously, he's been a good signing. Let's jump one more year into the future and see what this third season's like. This is absolutely crazy so far. I think I'll probably do another three years in a separate video, but for now we're going to do one more year. Okay, so we're in the final year, and as you can see their bank balance is now below 200 million. So they've really gone through that billion pounds very, very quickly. Let's take a look at who they spent it on this year. They nearly spent 100 million. They brought in Gerson from Roma for 43 million pounds. Leon Goretzka from uh, Schalke for 27 million pounds. And the rest are pretty unknown to me, to be fair. Kazuki Honda from, um, it was actually a free transfer. Who did they sell? They didn't really sell anyone noteworth. Actually, Maya Alvaro. Yeah, no one really notable to go out. Let's take a look at how, how wow. They didn't actually do well in the league. I was about to say, let's see how well they done in the league this year. But they finished sixth on 70 points. Now, they're only six points away from top four. And they're only eight points away from third. But obviously, getting top four the year before, they would have wanted to get there again. Maybe being in the Champions League did actually hinder them. We'll shortly see. They had quite a lot of defeats, which is obviously going to punish them very badly. If we go over to the schedule, though, and we take a look where they actually are in. Yeah, they actually went into the Europa League. Why is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, actually, I see why. So, I'll look at the Champions League first. I've gone the long way around to that. So, they were actually in the playoffs, obviously, for finishing fourth. And they lost the playoffs 4-2 on aggregate to Monaco. So, they then do, they actually then went into the Europa League. They got through the group stage. Quite a difficult group, to be fair. CSK in Moscow, Tottenham and Jabalonek. I don't even know who they are, where they're from. They're from the Czech Republic. But they do actually go through. They only lose to Tottenham. And then they draw to Tottenham and then they win every other game, which is quite impressive. Then they go out in the first knockout round. 4-1 on aggregate, actually. No, sorry, 3-2 on aggregate. Getting that wrong there. To Dynamo Kiev. So, obviously, they'll be disappointed by that, given the money they've spent. If we take a look at the Spanish Cup. Now, yes, yeah, Spanish Cup. So, they actually go further than they usually do. They played Hercules, winning 7-0 on aggregate. Real Sociedad winning, what would that be, 5-3 on aggregate, but then crashing out to Espanyol, 4-3 uh, on aggregate, so disappointing for them there. If we take a look at the players, to round this off, we will go with average match rating, so Alan Neom, the right back, performing very well, uh, Yusuf Molumbu up there as well, the free sign and Honda also up there, where is Inaki Williams dead low down yet again, that's why, <laughs> He's made four starts with 36 appearances as a sub. But if we just go into him, how much did he sign for? He signed for £49 million. You do not make a £49 million sign him and use him 36 times as a substitute. That is unbelievable. Um, but let's just take a look at goals. So Lukaku, 25 goals. Uh, Gerson, the young sign, I think he was. 21 years of age, £43 million. He's second. So obviously a very good season for him as well. As for player value, Gerson and Lukaku are joined top. Inaki Williams, despite not playing, he's third joint with 
uh, Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. I can't say that guy's name. I know he used to play for Atletico Madrid in this game. He does in real life. That is all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you want to see how they continue to develop with this £1 billion that they have nearly gone right through, do let me know. I'll do another three years in a separate video. But that is all. Thank you all for watching. Check out the rest of the Football Manager content in the description. There'll be a link somewhere that to playlists. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new around here and enjoyed the content. But thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.